is Melanie Steinke, and I am a senior at Georgia Southern University. And there, while I was there, I got involved with a campus ministry called Wesley. And one Wednesday night, three guys from an organization called Adventures and Missions came and talked to us about um, the organization and the mission trips that they've been on, and um, like the world race and the two month mission trips, and they have all different types. And so after that night, well, I went to the website and I searched for Hispanic country mission trips for the summertime because I was in school all the other months. And um, I found a few of them. It was like Nicaragua, Costa Rica, um, I don't remember, Honduras, and then uh, Peru. And uh, on the Peru one, it said, this trip is not for those that are faint of heart or that are high maintenance or need a bed to sleep in. Um, and so... Of course, that kind of interested me because it was different from the, all the other ones. And it said that we would be traveling on the Amazon River. And that just, I mean, it just called out adventure. And it kind of pulled my heart a little bit. But it was for two months, and it made me nervous because I wouldn't be with my family or my friends. I wouldn't have any communication with back home for like a month and a half at least. And so I just started praying about it. And, um, and I wanted to do it, but then part of me didn't want to do it because I was so afraid of the unknown. And, but one night, after praying about it for a few months, um, one night at Wesley, when I was on leadership, we would pray before Wednesday nights, and I was praying about it, and I was like, you know, Lord, if you want me to go, I want you to play this specific song. And it's um, a song by a band called Jesus Culture, and it's You Won't Relent. And I told him that, I was like, if you play this song tonight, I mean, you want me to go, and so I'll go. And so we did, like, worship, and it hadn't been played, and the sermon came, and it still hadn't been played, and then it was the end of the end of all the other worship songs and it still hadn't been played and I was like I kind of relaxed a little bit and I was a little bit sad and then all of a sudden Jason the leader of the worship team was like you know I we're done with the set but I feel as if I need to play this song and the chords of you wrote me like came on and uh I just started crying I'm tearing up right now even thinking about it but I was like well I guess I mean I know I have to go on this trip and so I signed up we I was I put out support letters, and my church family at McKendree and my friends and my extended family, they all supported me financially and um, through prayer. And so I went, and it was one of the hardest things I've done, but it was, I've learned so much from it, and I learned, I think, the most important lesson I've ever learned in my life, and that I'm a, I'm a daughter of the Lord, and I, and I can't do anything wrong. I can't do anything to lose His love. And um, I know I needed to learn that, and I know I needed to grow for those two months, and I have so many stories, and I have so many, I've witnessed so many miracles, and met so many people, and um, I'm, I'm just so blessed by that trip, and if I wouldn't have gone on it, I wouldn't have the freedom that I have now, and it really, truly changed my life.